My name is Kyle Standard. I'm also known as the guy in the agenda that didn't send his info in in time, so that's the blank spot. So just, uh, that's my bad. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so uh, I'm on the team at retention.com on the partnerships team. Uh, I also have a background as a e-com founder myself and spent a few years in B2B SaaS marketing before that. So kind of combining everything I love now to uh, work on partnerships and talk about um, improving retention. So I'm going to start today by talking about a shift. So there's been a large shift over the last year, little while, going from customer acquisition to customer retention. This is because obviously the going was good for a while. People were spending a lot, buying a lot, getting it delivered to their homes. Now the question is, how do we get more money and more revenue out of all those customers we spent the money on to acquire when the going was good? So due to a few things, obviously staffing, iOS, increase in customer acquisition costs, broken supply chain, bunch of different reasons. But Overall, in the last five years, customer acquisition costs have risen by almost 50%. On top of that, there's also an abandonment problem. So the abandonment problem is actually massive. There's 4.6 trillion in merchandise that's abandoned every single year, with 18 billion of that coming from the e-commerce industry directly. And 30% of abandoners will buy from a competitor. So now, if that wasn't enough, the challenges to solving the abandonment problem. One, growing email list is hard because brands only convert and capture about 2% of visitors who come to their website and get their email address, whether it's through uh, the actual purchase or newsletter, exit intent, whatever it may be. Number two, card abandonment, which is a really big problem. You're only sending a card abandonment email to about 5% of the people who leave something in their cart on your website. This is because you can only send it to people who have bought from you before and are logged in on the same device that they bought from. And third, again, our lovely friend with the iOS update. So the retention and abandonment solution. Just one guess, retention.com. Um, but we are a lead generation platform that helps e-com brands use the power of identity to grow their email list 10 to 15 times faster, safely grow that list, and rapidly grow their abandonment revenue. So how do we do that? We have three main features for our product. The first is called Grow, which is for email list growth. This is focusing on the top of funnel browse abandonment. Visitors come to your website. 30 to 40% of the time, we can identify them without them ever filling out a form. Capture that email of that opted in person, send it over to you, push it into your email service provider. You can now send out a browse abandonment email. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for shopping, whatever you want to say. Feature number two works the exact same way. It's called Reclaim except now we're focusing on bottom of funnel, so more cart abandonment revenues. So someone leaves something in their cart, they leave, whether they have purchased from you before or not, so they can even be a net new visitor to the website, we will identify them up to 30 to 40% of the time. Again, push that right over into your ESP. Now you're sending out more cart abandonment emails and increasing that flow revenue by five to 10 times. The third feature which really helps us increase the amount of ID that we can help brands have is our meta persistent audiences. So our pixel works the exact same way as a Facebook retargeting pixel, except the difference is that we don't live in the meta verse. So we aren't affected by the iOS update. So we can actually identify more people on your website than Facebook can and push that back into Facebook to help build out and grow that Facebook retargeting audience that you have. The end result between those three is an 80% lift in identification of that traffic that's currently coming to your website that you've either paid for in the past or you're still paying for now. So the first question everyone asks is the effects on performance, delivery, spam score, all that stuff. So first off, we're 100% can spam and CCPA compliant. The way it works, the opted in email is captured from the visitor on your website. It goes through a seven day activity check. So we make sure that it's an actual active email before sending it over to you. So we're passing over only the engaged and deliverable emails to your ESP. And you're only sending emails to the highest quality and active email addresses coming to your website. So one of the brands that we have is Dr. Squatch. And I just wanted to share some great results from a campaign they did with us back in November. Uh, they've been on board from sometime last year, but they ran a Black Friday uh, Cyber Monday campaign in November and saw an incremental increase in revenue of $1.1 million in one month. That obviously isn't their average, but in that one month, it got them a 50 times ROI on our product, 
with 5% of all Black Friday Cyber Monday sales coming just from that increase in abandonment and flow revenues with zero problems with Klaviyo deliverability audit. So on average, they're seeing about a 37 times ROI. So the way our product works is the higher your abandonment revenue, the more traffic um, coming in, the better the product works. So how it's kind of broken down between the three features with Reclaim, Grow, and Meta when it comes to the ROI, it's actually a product that does get better with time. And I'm not just saying that so that you kind of you know, keep buying as time goes, but you can see here Reclaim, which is the cart abandonment, is really strong in the beginning because we can start capturing that Re, that cart abandonment revenue right away. The browse abandonment takes a little bit more time because those are uh, people coming back. But you can see over the course of the year, you can get up to six to 10 times more ROI with our product. And a few more results here from a couple other clients that we have on board. Uh, Defyware, Cuts, Blissey, and you can see the lifts in their first 30 days ranging from 50% to 139%. A um, couple more here, but just wanted to also obviously throw some quotes out there. Ryan Pamplin from Blendjet, uh, one of a, the great advocates for us, uh, see tremendous res results up to 93 times ROI. Um, and so far to date, we have over 2,000 e-com brands on board that we're hoping to help keep grow and help improve retention revenues. Um, and that's all, right in time. <laughs>